Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Some More Stormblood. We've left Mefred sitting here all damn afternoon. <sighs> Elder's probably not going to be very happy with us, but... Let's do this! Uh, hi, um, you look eerily familiar, even though I've never met you before. I don't need to be a jerk about it, okay? Yeah, yeah, see? See, we, we, we're all friends here. We all don't like the Empire, okay? Do, do you want to suffer under the tyrannical rule? Or do you want to take the chance to fight back? Like, you got a choice in the matter, right? And I understand you don't like both, either one, but... Don't be a dick about it, okay? Yeah, you at least it's got the right of it, okay? Like, I, I know we put you in a hard place and whatever, and we're just asking. We're, we're not threatening, we're not doing anything. We're just politely asking, alright? Uh, no, it, that that wasn't our cause. That that was the cause of a crazy madman. This is the first time the Alliance has come and said, Okay, I want to help. So don't put his crimes on us, baby. I'm not the one who told your men and women to go fight for his cause, okay? Yeah, it's been 20-something years, but she's back, baby, okay? It's fine, it's fine. We get it, brah. We get it. But just don't be a jerk about it, alright? And here's one of the early places it crops up with Lisa's character in this game. Now, a lot of the fandom actually doesn't quite properly understand her and to some extent that angers me to no end, but at the same time I understand a bit of it because the game does an awful job of basically developing her character from here on out because now she's not tied to Papalimo anymore like that was that was her stick before she was she was the village idiot and Papalimo's partner well there's a lot more to it than that and she has actually had some personality traits even long before you know this this little soft reboot of hers and we're going to discuss those later when when they're actually relevant but here is the first of where what I find is one of the big screw-ups in how they handled her character development is tying her identity to that of her sister and her father. And that is problematic for two reasons. Number one is because we've never met Ida. We've never met her dad, who's been, who we'll find out, has been dead for the better part of 20 years. 
But not only that, but part of her character development is supposed to be getting away from that identity to stop walking in Edith's shadow and just be Lise. And that doesn't help with it at all. And a lot of the, th the, the parts where you'll see she'll, she'll gain some respect and allies out of the Resistance isn't because of who she is as a person, but whose daughter she is. And that, I think, is extremely problematic. So basically, butt kissing and um, fetch questing for him. Okay, all right, all right. At least for once, I have a reason to do this other than just Ella will go pick up my chocobo dunk for me and all that other stuff. At least now we have we have a reason to want to appeal to better people uh, singularity um, before we bombard them with, "Hey, you want to join the resistance?" So I can I can I can appreciate that that. Well, we're, we're still end up doing crappy mundane tasks. It's a not without ulterior motive. Dude, I didn't even do anything yet. I'm just here to say hello. Do you need help with anything? Well, that's the whole point. Like, we want to help you. That That's who I am. Is I help people, even when they're kind of thankless about it sometimes. That, 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 that's kind of my role as the nameless protagonist here. But the thing is that you can't be just so rude about it when I come up and say, Do you need help with anything? And you're like, Nah, get away from me! I know I'm an outsider, and I know you're wary, but do you see me clanking fill of Imperial Armor? No! Don't be a jerk, okay? You see the Empire with trusty sidekick chocobos around? No, no you don't. Alright, so we get a horn, but now we're gonna need a hornbill thing. Hornbill Talon, okay. I have to say, I find it kind of funny that some of the enemies in here are literally giant grasshoppers and butterflies. <laughs> that, that, that there's totally out for your blood. And my trusty sidekick is about to go away. Don't worry. Don't worry. He just needed to take a poop. He'll be back in just a moment. Oh, I do need to get more greens. Gotta keep my chocobo well fed. Okay, lady, I got stuff to make your tea. Well, I thank you for your honesty in the matter, okay? But, but maybe next time, like, I understand your apprehension, but I hope you really feel better, and maybe you'll tell people not to be jerks to people wearing carbuncle outfits and with trusty silk of a sidekicks, okay? Okay, glad we got that squared away. What's up, Mr. Angry Coral? What's going on? Yeah, where'd you get those fancy glasses? I'm liking those. But are you in need of a shirt, sir? I, I, I wonder if this, this semi-deserty area might get a little cold at night, and it is 1030. Well, just ask that lady over there. I did a nice thing for her.
Yeah, sure, I'll be messenger. Fine, okay. Okay. Alright, I'll do that. I will go and find your brother, but thank, thank, thank you very much for actually telling me his name. I mean, I don't think... I just want to start the love with you here. Can't see much, but nice little view of the river and a carbuncle butt. I mean, of course, in universe, I'm not exactly going to be seeing his name above his head, but it's certainly useful for the player, is it not? Hello, good sir. I have a message from your brother. Oh, I don't even have to tell you what the leftovers mean. I don't know what that means, but I don't even have to say it. You are such a mind reader. Well, good thing I have a trusty chocobo steed to help me carry these things. Sorry that he just kind of kicked you in the nuts there. Yeah. Trusty sidekick. Please don't do that to people. That's a little rude. Okay, sir. Here's your leftovers. Whatever the heck that means. I'm sorry about your dad, bruh. What's up, please? What are you doing? See, she's being polite. Hopefully that guy isn't a jerk to her. What's up, my friend? What else can we do? Well, they don't. She hasn't been here in 20 years. <laughs> she didn't grow up here, remember, game? Uh, actually, no. Um, she was a literal freaking child when she left. Okay. She didn't really have a choice where she ended up. Her sister literally dragged her. You didn't do it on purpose, Lise. Holy crap. This isn't your fault. You shouldn't be blamed for any of this. 
You were literally barely five years old when the Empire came barging in. Your sister literally ran, dragged you by the arm and ran off. Ends up, you end up in Charlene for the better part of probably the next 15 or so years until she dies and you take her place. Where the hell am I going? Now that you've crawled out you know, from under her shadow, you, you have decided that yes, you want to help these people and you are being genuine about it. You don't deserve this treatment from this asshole. Alright, so what's going on? What's happening? Breathe! Breathe, woman, breathe! Somebody get her a cup of coffee or whatever. Lady who, who's got the broken leg or whatever, do you have any tea left? Just a little, just a sip or something. Just, just let her calm down a bit. What? Your little brother was kidnapped by giant sentient rats? Lead the way! Yeah, I don't, I don't know what the hell of this crap she's talking about over here, but... How do you know that? Like, are you certain of that? Like, have you actually, like, seen the bones and properly identified them? Do you have a forensic scientist to tell you this? Like, are, are, are we absolutely, completely certain? Okay, alright, 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 Lise, we're going. They're rats. I can take them. Somebody get the arsenic. Anyway, thankfully we, we've already traveled a bit to cover the map a little bit at that place. Just by coincidence. Um, again, depending on what map I look at, I may not have like the shortest route to look at when I don't have the map filled out. But... One thing I wanted to discuss just a moment or two ago, but I didn't want to interrupt the dialogue, is that people have seemingly entirely forgotten that the Scions of the Seventh Dawn have already chased the Imperials off Aldenard soil before. Uh, did, did you all forget Gaius? Like, really? How the hell do you think we chased them off our soil and they haven't- the 14th Legion is just, you know, just- just- basically just scattered to the winds and just kind of stuck here and are no threat to anybody anymore. Who the hell do you think you have to thank for that? Like, did everybody just forget about that? That we've dealt with these situations before and granted it's a little bit different when you have, uh, you know, an active Imperial Legion in your own backyard. You know, it's a, it's a tiny bit of a different story. But it's not like, oh my god, would you stop aggroing me? Holy crap. But it's not like it's entirely unknown to us how to deal with Imperial scum. It's not like we haven't done this before in some capacity. You know, the Scions do have some experience with this. Like, let us help the Resistance, you know. We have the proof that we've done this before. And it's just entirely for... Just for some reason the narrative has entirely forgotten that we've done this. You know? Like, it's one thing if they comment, you know, hey, you know, again, it's- they're not in your backyard anymore, you know, it's- it's not so easy for- for you to- to pass that off as a huge accomplishment. And I still can understand some skepticism 
from the Alamegans directly because they've been living under Imperial rule for the past 20 years, but that point is like never mentioned at all or anything. Okay, I guess you do have a point that maybe they actually do eat their prisoners, but... Sure that isn't just a scare tactic? Are we sure? I mean, maybe it is, maybe it isn't, but... Oh, come on, Lise! You can take him! We're fine! Now get over here and punch him! Come on, my chocobo's doing more work than you, Elise. Come on! I know it's dark out, but... I mean, I suppose you did take a couple out here, but... Alright, alright, up the stairs we go. Holy crap, these things are steep. <laughs> I'm not out of breath. You're out of breath. Hi, Mom. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we'll continue climbing this place. Can you imagine, like... I'm sorry, I feel bad for anybody who has a fear of heights. Because holy crap, like, even I would be, like... Oh my god, like, I, I would be, like, on my hands and knees about three quarters of the way up. Being like, oh my god, I'm gonna die. <laughs> See, how do you know they weren't going to eat the chocobo, huh? Huh? You know, it tastes like chicken. You know, how do they know? We've seen people in this universe eat, eat chocobo before. I didn't even loot the chocobo yet. Come on. You're fine. It's 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 okay. It's cool. I'm not a giant rat. I may be a giraffe, but I'm not a rat. Okay? You're cool. You're fine. See, even your chocobo saying, hi guys. Uh, yes. No, we're also here to eat you. Of course we're here to rescue you. Oh, it's too bad we can't fly. Well, why don't we follow them? Like, like, what, like, what, what are you talking about? Alright, fine. I mean, we gotta go follow them, but but you might want to tell me what this- Oh, great. Well, now I gotta have to walk down the long way, otherwise I'm gonna die. But, but, game, you might want to exposit, like, what this this whole deal is about. What, are we paying, like, friggin' tolls or some crap like that? Like, yeah, give us, like, 10% of your earnings every month or we're gonna kill you and your family? Like... I mean, I know that's what's actually going on, but... The game doesn't really do anything to explain this this deal to them and why the consequences are so dire, you know? 
It's just like, oh yeah, I I, I get I get to drag my payment. O o okay, and nobody's questioning like, okay, what what is the actual deal here? You know, like least of all people should be questioning this, because this this is not something we've seen before. You know. Just follow the smell of chocobo. Can't be that hard. Like, maybe Mefford, if you hadn't stopped us, we could have, you know, spotted him before we lost the trail and followed him from there. But no, of course not. That would make sense. Um, okay. Are they Imperials? Worse. Skulls. Listen, Lise. Whatever happens, stay hidden and do not intervene. Understood? You there! Halt! You know you shouldn't be here. Explain yourself. Forgive me, sir. I, I came to deliver the tributum. Oh, aye. A likely story. Only a fool would dare to come so late. Or, mayhap, a resistant spy. Do you want your damn money and goods or not? No! No, you've got it all wrong. I was waylaid by bandits. It's not my fault. Like, you got pissed at them for being late last month, and now you're just not expecting it to come at all if it's not on time? Like, you guys are terrible. I said halt! <laughs> Is this a joke? You don't seriously expect us to believe this is a fifth? How stupid do you think we are? It is, I swear, on my mother's life. Spare us. You came late, you lied about bandits, and then you tried to cheat the Empire of its due. Wow, you're an asshole. Think you can kill them all? Including the ones watching from the tower. Even if you did, others would come for him and his family. You'd be condemning them all to a life of hard labour. Assuming they didn't just execute them, that is. But it isn't fair! It's your bloody fault we're stuck out here patrolling this God's forsaken wasteland. It's your fault I have to listen to people go on and on about how Alan Egan's can't be trusted. I've worked and toiled harder than any man. I'm a citizen, God's damn it. And what are you? A stupid, stubborn little dog who'd sooner bite the hand that feeds him and pine for the good old days. That's enough! Lord Xenos is expecting our report. Oh, there was a special place on my list for you guys. I bet the poor bastard can't believe his luck. He gets to go home. We should do the same.
Maybe we should, I don't know, help him? No? Okay. Like maybe just whistle and being like, Shh, psst, over here. with you, Elise, but Mefford did have a point there. Like, let's not fuck people up even worse, you know? Yeah, shame we're not going to escort him or anything. again, sir. You haven't seen her do anything yet. I mean, I know she could have taken him, but you don't know that. Maybe if you could have told us that the first time, instead of being a jackass. No, she's not gonna be alright. She came here to help people and everyone just keeps brushing her off and not doing anything about the problem that they actually want solved. Like, they got reason to be scared, don't get me wrong about that, but... You need a hug, girl. At least you're homeless with us, with the Scions. At least I love you. What do you have to say, jerk off? I'm glad to see you've turned to leave. See what happens when you be nice to people and, you know, even after they've been a jerk to you, maybe, 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 maybe let's just start with just don't be a jerk to people who, who say, hey, is there anything I can help you with? It's all you need to do. You don't want to join the resistance, you don't want to join the resistance. It's, it's cool, it's fine. Just, just don't be a dick about it, okay? Alright, okay.
What up, ladies? Everybody learned something today. Welcome, my friend. Don't know how well Monago ended up doing after, you know, talking people, but hey, we just kicked a bunch of Imperial Scouts in their, their experimental magitech armor. Woohoo! But sadly, that's going to be it for this episode. For now, we've, we've helped, uh... Get some new recruits in the resistance and rally some of the people of Alamigo to the cause of the people of Ralgo's Reach. And hopefully that will be enough to satisfy Conrad for now. Keep our end up in the bargain and maybe we can actually do something and start to stamp out this Imperial threat. But we're going to have to do that next time. So thank you for watching everybody and I shall see you next time. <laughs>